everybody, it's the Pet Club here, and today I'm going to be doing a cage tour. And my cage is very different now, and in a totally different spot. It's in my room, and if you guys want me to do a room tour, just comment down below, or I'll just do one. And so, yeah, I moved them up here, and they don't have that extra sand underneath them anymore. They are just, like, on the ground. So, here it is. They each have two grids and a half for their cages and it's all together five grids and by two it's five by two grids so two grids this way five this way and then split down the middle with a divider so yeah let's just get started with Reese if you haven't um, met my guinea pigs this is Reese he's an American short hair guinea pig and he's about two years old two or three and this is his cage area. He likes to mess it up, but that's okay. He is a very messy piggy. Anyway, so what bedding they're on is Carefresh, Carefresh Natural bedding, and um, this is their his haven. It's a like a miniature laundry hamper, and his is in pink. He has a jingly cat ball. Um, I got this from the dollar store. So here's his ceramic ice cream food dish, and they eat Oxbow um, Cavi Cuisine adult guinea pig food. And over here, he has his rainbow fiddlesticks as a little like tunnel. And over here, he has this pine cone chew or this um, pine cone kebab thing. And then this, um, corn chew. And over here he has this bird toy. It's like a perch. But it's like the same material as a log. And he likes to go under that and he likes to stand up here. He has his two front paws. And then this is his, um, I forgot the brand of this. Maybe Living World. But, um, it's a tree trunk hideaway. And they can also chew on this too. And they get you on that, and that, and the shoes, of course. And over here he has his grass or hay mat, and I just clipped it up here. He likes to chew on that, and he has a living world glass water bottle right here. So that's basically Reese's side. Hi, Reese. Hi. And if you're wondering where I get the hay from, um, I'll just tell you in a minute when I show you their hay. So. Um, so here's the divider, it's just two grids, and they're clipped to that side, and Reese can push this through, push it open, he is really, um, he bulldozes and he really likes to get through, so I just always have something heavy right here so he can't push it, and he likes to make his side bigger <laughs> by doing that. So here's Scooby's cage, if you haven't met Scooby, he is a Abyssinian guinea pig, and here he is, he might come out, yep, he's about four years old. And here he is. He's my first guinea pig. I've had a few guinea pigs. I've had Lily, which she was a long hair guinea pig. But she passed away from like a sickness. And so, here's Scooby. We got him when he was a baby too. And he's, yeah, like four years old. So starting over here on his cage, um, he has this, um, I think this is Super Pet. Yeah, Super Pet Kebab. It, it came with this, these fruits, but I added the cheeseburger on there. And then he has his, hi, hey, he wants some treats. And so he has this um, log tunnel thing, and he could chew on that too. He has his jingly ball. Yeah. And um, his living world dome, I think this is. And um, he also has a hay his hay bin as the um, miniature laundry hamper, but his is in navy blue. And then his food dish is just a ceramic food dish, and it's shallow because he likes to tip over his food dishes. And then he has this, I think this is Living World water bottle. It's plastic. It's bigger because he drinks a lot of water. Reese doesn't drink as much water, so. And he's going to, I thought he was going to demonstrate, but 
So let's just go to the outside of the cage now. That's Scoobies, that's Reese's. Outside, I have a sign that says Piggies. It's a chalk sign. And I have Christmas lights all around the rim. And I could just plug those in if you want me to. And that's what they look like. They're really cute. And then over here on Scooby's side, there's some drawings. I drew this when I first got Scooby a long time ago. And it's just like a little guinea pig. And then my friend made this. It's out of watercolor, I think. Pigs rule, but mostly Scooby, Anne Reese, and Lily. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's their cage, it's, up on the gr it's just on the ground in my room, and let's just go over to where I keep their hay, keep it in my closet. This is their bedding um, container, and this is their hay container, and I could just like refill that, because I get their hay from Fleet Farm, the big bale, and I keep it in my garage, and then I just take that little container, fill it up, and then bring it up here to fill up their little hay things. And so, yeah, and bedding is carefish, like I said, I think I order it off of Amazon or somewhere like that, and because it's cheaper, I think, that way. Yeah, and I'll just show you the quick organization that I do. It's right underneath my bed. My bed, my bed has drawers underneath it. So I have their pellets in here. They they eat the oxbow cavy because they eat adult guinea pig food. And I have plastic bags for the garbage. And this is for cleaning their cage. And this is um, a sweeper for cleaning their cage and a, like a scooper thing. This little pig on it for cleaning their cage. I have these pads, these puppy pads underneath. Um, their bedding, and um, that absorbs a lot too. So I just have those puppy pads, and this is a basket full of supplies: just a scooper, brush, nail clipper, extra to extra little ball, um, extra bottle holder, shampoo, Q-tips, and the extra Christmas lights, some connectors, and some clips in there. I have my cleaning solution, vinegar and water solution for cleaning the chloroplast in a cage clean and some paper towels to wipe it down. And back there is just some extra huts and toys and tunnels. And then way back there, let's see if I can get it open. There we go. I have another basket. This is a pretty big drawer. Their treat container, which I don't usually buy pet store treats unless they're Oxbow because they're just full of sugar anyway. I usually just give them veggies for treats. Here's their vet papers in here. And a scrubber to scrub the coroplast. Some toys to hang some hangers to hang lettuce and vegetables on. A water bottle cleaner. And in here we just have some grooming supplies, nail file, and stuff like that. And back here, even more, we have some extra fleece remnants in here just for decorating it outside their cage. But I just kept them anyway. Some extra clips, like these clips in this container. A carrier and some extra bowls and water bottles back there. So that's all the supplies that I have in there. And that's basically really nice to have because you could just slide it away. And it doesn't look junky. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my... Oh, sorry. I just hit that. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching um, this um, cage tour. And if you guys want to see a room tour, comment down below. But if you don't, just say, nah, just don't do it. But I think I'm going to do it pretty soon. Um, I think I just... Fin my sister and I um, were sharing a room, but now we don't. I just finished remodeling my room, so um, I think I'm going to do it pretty soon here. And so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, comment down below and subscribe and thumbs up this video. Bye!